Welcome back. This week, Chester Missing had the opportunity to interview Richard Quest from CNN. Let's see what happened. Halala! I am talking to a guy with a voice could, that could have its own TV channel. Richard Quest, how's it going, man? Welcome to Africa. You're very kind. Uh, did you hear that? He's like the European Gwery Mantashe, this guy. Very nice. Are you uh, in economic exile because Europe's economy is all suck? Look, the truth is... Europe yeah. is in a terrible state. Yeah, it is. Now, you don't need me to tell you no, I that. What are you doing with me? However, yeah. look at your rand. Yeah. Your rand. Where is it? Disappeared without trace. No, it's trace. gone. It's yeah. gone. I thought maybe you came here to fix it. Maybe you're going to sell some ties or something. I don't know what happened to our rand. Our president spoke and then the rand went down. I don't know if it was related. It would be very unfair to suggest that there might be a direct correlation between uh, the distinguished president yeah. speaking and the collapse of the This rand. is exactly what I said. You bastard media doing all this stuff. You bastard media. The first guy who's made business cool is you. You are literally the first guy who's made cool. business cool. Do you ever get hate cool. mail from Bill cool Gates? Do, cool, cool, cool. Cool business, cool markets. Cool. Right, pass me my wallet. Get his wallet. Pass me my wallet. You can buy a Lesotho right. with what's in there. All right, pass them money. All right, mm. here we what, go. What kind of tea is there? It's my right. gosh. Have we got go. any puller? Money. You got rants? Look at him. Look yes, at I know. Him. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're going to give Blade and Zamanda a heart attack, <laughs> guy. Come on, come on, thanks, no, thanks. I'm going to. No, I will not be right. a puppet of Western imperialism. You already are. Oh, my. Well, uh, you would know. Right. Listen, do so, the international business. What are work? the most important things in life? They are fresh air. Fresh air, yeah, yeah. Food. Okay, okay, okay. food. Sex. Se Whoa! Um, <laughs> There's this guy. After that, yeah? it is how you earn and spend your money. Now, money is morally neutral, but how you earn it yeah. and what you're prepared to do with it, those are the issues. No, give it to yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get oh, back. No, give get it back. I know your sword. Don't you throw my bananas around. Yeah, I know my you My mother told me about people got, like you. Does the international media really <clears throat> just see Africa as one big Lion King movie <clears throat> with a couple of dictators and starving kids? Because that's how you seem to portray us, boss. So, the media looks at Africa. And when we look at Africa, uh, you try to obviously realise and recognise yeah. that you're talking about many countries yeah. with many different issues. Yeah. That is untrue. Get down, Lesotho, Nigeria, etc. Absolutely. And the point about I'm saying about it, you try your best to bring out the differences, but always recognising that there's only a certain amount of time in which you can do it. No, that's fair. That's exactly now the question. You see people say, no, Africa's a seventh of the world's population, but you only give it an hour a week on CNN. I mean, what, is CNN like a, a Eurocentric oh, place no. or what? Oh, no. No, 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 what? no. no, no Whatever no. now. We put more, actually, into C on CNN from Africa than we would say, for example, in specialised programmes from Europe, the United States, or from Asia. Una manga! Una manga! Do you have friends in high places? I have lots of friends in high places, mainly in lifts on the 19th floor. So, come here. Yeah, tell me. Can you arrange for my oh, plane yeah. Oh, yeah. to leave oh, yeah. from Watercliff Air Force Base? Oh, yes, I can I arrange it. I know the exactly the people. Have you yes. ever heard of these guys, the Guptas? Ah, the Guptas. Yeah, no. they're coming for you, guy. They're coming for you. No, no, they are, they are a peculiarly um, South African phenomenon, yeah. although they have many interests elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. You've got these awesome people on CNN, like like that lady, uh, Christine Amanpour. I mean, Christine she's hardcore. Christine Amanpour. And uh, who is more dangerous? Properly. Who's more dangerous? Try and Kim say Jong it properly. Try and say Christiane Amanpour. Christiane Amanpour. Uh, Amanpour. You've got to get it proper. Christiane Amanpour. It makes me shiver in my toes. It if makes I me to. shiver in my toes. I'm sure it does, but this is the thing. Who's more scary, Kim Jong Un or Christine Amanpour? Who would you like to be trapped? in the elevator from the 19th floor with. Kim Jong Un. I'm not saying a word. Back to the Christian <laughs> Have you ever heard anyone cry after a Christian Amanpour interview? Have you ever seen that happen? Have I ever seen anyone cry? No, of course I haven't. But that they rise, ah, it's Christian Amanpour! Because she seems hardcore. She's a very, very good, strong, dedicated interviewer. Guy, if your voice was any deeper, we'd need a mining license. How much of the police killings at Marikana actually affected South Africa's image overseas? On a serious point, yeah. there is no question that the Marikana killings had a very significant effect. Really? Yes. There are riots in Spain, Portugal, Greece, Turkey, everywhere. Thatcher dies, they got death parties. Why does Africa get such a hard time if anything happens here? 
It's a very good question because of the nature of the way those riots took place. Because yeah. of the nature of the yeah. way those people were killed. I have okay, a question yeah. for you. Yeah, you ask, you ask, and Time then I will clap you with my mic. Time to put some honesty and truth and dedication into this proceedings. He's killing me! Honestly, Mr. Missing. missing. Yes. Sir. Just answer the questions as yes. they're asked, please. Yes, Mr. Quest. And please yes, do sir. not let's have any more of your bombast no. and nonsense. No. Yes. How long is it, do you think, yes. before you will retire or be arrested? Uh, at least a week. At will least Jacob maybe Z two weeks. Will Jacob Zuma win the next year's election? Ah, uh, yes. No, that's guaranteed. That is more guaranteed than, I don't know, than Donald Trump's hair being fake. It is, it is about as guaranteed as it gets. <laughs> Richard Quest, you're a genius. Thanks for talking to us. Go tell the world that Africa's awesome. I'm out of here. Thanks for coming. Thanks. I don't let them revoke your visa at home affairs. How did this guy get in the country? News that moves. ENCA.com.